Hello class, I am Dr. Neuberger. As you can see today, we will be doing the right Riemann sum of this graph, which is 2x minus 1, in five separate sub-intervals. As you can see in the first interval, in the second, third, fourth, fifth, math happens here. And after an area of time, we are solving for the area using the addition of these rectangles as shown above. In the end, after some math, you eventually will get the area being 60 units, and that's really it, it's not that much. I'm just kidding, the last one equals 140. This is the left-hand Riemann sum of this same, of this same object, which is a graph, of 2x minus 1. As you can see, this one instead places the rectangles in a different area. And as the accumulation goes, you have a smaller area of 70 versus the contrasting 140. This here is our third method. It is called the Riemann period. And it is another example of Riemann sum series used to integrate the area of an object. As you can see, there are still the same number of <sighs> intervals, but however, they are now in the midpoint of the line, not under or over as the left and right are. And as you get a different area, which is 90. In the trapezoidal rule, which is this one, you have the accumulation of intervals in the shapes of trapezoids instead of rectangles. In the end, as you can see by the formula up in the very corner, right there, yes, thank you, it is a very different formula than the Riemann sums, but, however, you still get A equals 90 after calculations. The final method of, the, of numerical integration is Simpson's rule, where you, in, where you add two of the midpoint theory and one of the trapezoidal rule to get the area of one third plus 290 plus 90, and then you eventually will get after accumulation and addition and subtraction and division and all that stuff, A equals 90.